me start by introducing you uh, to your sixth cousin. Could you please shake the hand to the, of the person to your left? Well, um, if you're both of European ancestry mainly, um, that person is almost certainly, your, roughly speaking, your sixth cousin. So you share a great, 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 great grandparent in common. Okay? Even if you're of non-European origin from the Far East or have African ancestors, uh, you wouldn't have to go much further back to find a common ancestor because there have been plenty of Africans here in Britain for a long time, since the Middle Ages indeed, and the same is true for people from many other parts of the world. So we're all related to each other. In other words, when we choose a partner, we're choosing a relative, somebody with whom we share our genes because we descend from this famous common ancestor, um, either perhaps a grandparent, if you're cousins, or if it's just two random people chosen from this pretty street, a great, 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 great grandparent. Now, why is that inevitable? Many people think that um, there's something wrong with mating with a relative. Famously, Thomas Beecham said, try anything once except incest and folk dancing. Well, I've never gone in for folk dancing. Um, <laughs> 